I have taken a Java program which uh, reverses string. So we have a string called subscribe, and uh, uh, we are reversing the string and we are uh, getting it in a variable called reverse, and then we are printing it. Okay, so uh, in order to start, let me just run this program. Uh, run it as a Java application so that we can see that it's uh, running uh, fine or not. So if we you see the uh, word is subscribe and we are getting the reverse of that. So the program is running absolutely fine. In order to run the program in a debug mode, we need to go ahead and run uh, sorry debug as a Java application. So once you do this, what will happen is oh. Uh, if you can see it has uh, printed out the output so what is the reason that we do not have any breakpoint over here so whenever you run a program in a debug mode what happens it uh, runs the program in the same way as you are running but it uh, stops if you sees any breakpoint but in our case we, we are not having any breakpoint so let's go ahead and have a breakpoint over here okay let me just clear the console and run again it as a uh, in debug mode Okay, so uh, once you run any program in a debug mode, it will ask you to open the debug perspective so that you can see the variable uh, variables, breakpoints, the debug mode, the buttons uh, which are used to debug. So uh, I'll, I'll recommend you to go ahead and switch to this mode. So once you switch to mo this mode, you will see the debug section, this variable section, breakpoints and many other stuff which are useful. Uh, the most useful uh, uh, things are this uh, buttons called step into so this step into means you 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 are trying to go inside that step and see what is exactly happening over there the next one is step over so uh, you want to execute that line and come into the next line and this one is resume it will it will uh, start from that breakpoint and complete the program so mostly we are we will be using these two uh, buttons so uh, if you can see uh, my program has stopped on line 5 where we are trying to initialize the uh, blog name variable which is of a string type to subscribe. So let me just execute. To execute uh, this line we need to go ahead and click on step over. So once you click on step over you can see in the variable section there is a variable called blog name which is uh, initialized to subscribe. Now we are on a line 6 and uh, again we are trying to initialize a variable called uh, reverse which is of string type and we are initializing it to reverse and later on we will be adding uh, the values from uh, backward to uh, front uh, in order to reverse the string and uh, we will be printing, printing it later. So let me just go ahead and execute this line and um, I will go to step over. So once I uh, run this step you can see I have created a variable called reverse and which is in the slice to empty and it is of a string type. So now we are inside a for loop. So what we are doing here is we are having a variable called i which is of int type and the value initial value for that is the length of this minus one because always the index start from zero and uh, we are decrementing the value of i and we are taking the uh, uh, characters from the end and uh, we are uh, putting it in a uh, uh, reverse string which is initialized to empty so let me go ahead and execute it so if you see the value of i is 8 here so this has 5 plus 4 which is 9 the length of the uh, uh, blog name is 9 and uh, after uh, like blog name um, dot length minus 1 it will be 8 let me go ahead and execute this step so it will take the first uh, like the eighth character eighth index which will be e and assign it to the reverse so okay so if you see now reverse is e and when i again execute this step the, uh, the value of i is going to get uh, decremented and which will be seven so if you see now the i is seven and now again if i go ahead and execute this so the second last letter is now being added to the reverse string so if you go ahead and execute it again and again if you if you can see it uh, putting the uh, letters from backwards to front in uh, in order to reverse it 
and once the loop ends what it does it get out of the loop and comes to the this step so uh, we are on this step and we haven't executed it so once i execute this step what it does it, it prints this thing so i believe uh, this is quite simple and uh, you, uh, you can easily go ahead and debug any application program uh, using this way if you have any doubts on this you can come to me and uh, again these three buttons are very important if you want to go inside any steps where you are uh, calling any method so you can go ahead and uh, click on step into and you, you will uh, navigate it to that particular method and th there you can go ahead and check what are uh, the steps happening in that particular method uh, so and this one is like uh, uh, you have uh, uh, done executing what you want to know and you wa want to just run it and see if it is giving the right output or not so you can use this button at the end so uh, our program uh, we have printed this line but our program have been entered so let me just go ahead and resume it so once it get resumed the program is now executed and uh, i believe this uh, this will help you guys to go ahead and debug any program in java you have if you ha guys have any questions on this just uh, uh, ask me on the comment section uh, i'll try to reply all of your queries uh, thanks friends thanks for watching and uh, please do like share and subscribe uh, thanks friends